Welcome to the Daily Review. This is Fed Zach, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is May 25th, 2023, and today is Thursday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, we're watching the Dow Jones breaking on the downside, the 200-day moving average. And this is all happening as the crisis of the debt ceiling looms. No end in sight, at least for now. Now looking at today's major economic events, so 2.30 South African time, out of the United States, we have a preliminary GDP, gross domestic product number coming out. Now, as we look at the various markets, starting out with the forex symbols, the Turkish lira continues to weaken. And as we look at the indices, the Dow Jones does trade lower, while the NASDAQ holding on and not receding at all. Now, looking at commodities, gold really unchanged, while oil, slight gain on the upside. And looking at the stocks, Facebook, very resilient and holding very strong. And lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin testing support. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So looking at the Turkish Lira, we're hitting 1992 and it continues to weaken as this week progresses. And we mentioned this at Target the Trade that it would continue getting to these levels. And so, I mean, at this stage, no incentive not to get even lower. And if it passes 20, that's a very, very dangerous place for the Turkish Lira to be. And this is looking over the past year, how much it's depreciated looking at it daily. I mean, it's it just can continue. There's no end in sight. So if you want to buy and hold the dollar versus the Turkish Lira, it's to be granted. Okay, just be careful with it. Now, looking at the other major pairs, the dollar getting stronger versus the euro USD down to 107.28. That's a decent fall for the euro versus the dollar. Now, remember, historically, we were at this 105 and we were also less than one per one for the dollar and the euro. Now, looking at the GBP USD, also strengthening the dollar strengthening versus the GBP, and that is hitting supportish area at this area. So keep that in mind. We may get a little bit of a bounce. Now, jumping into commodities, gold remaining really unchanged in 1963, nothing really doing and bouncing off that support, but it has made it clear that 1950, 1955 is a supportish area. Now, jumping into crude oil, a little bit of a gain just before this morning after we hit that 30 day moving average. So that was a pretty decent place for us to be. And we're just flatlining here between 70 and $73 a barrel. Now, just jumping into the U.S. market, starting out with the Dow Jones. Now, here is where it gets very interesting. We broke that 33,000-ish level and continued trading lower, about 250 points. Now, it's not big, but relatively from where we were at 34,000, it's a big decrease. Okay, it's almost 2,000 points receding on the Dow Jones. Now, the NASDAQ, though, is a different story. It's very, very strong. If we look here uh, on the NASDAQ, excuse me, let's get to the NASDAQ. There we go, at 13,874 and not receding at all. Okay, this is very important. Now, if you look at a longer time frame, we mentioned this the other day, we are passing that resistance level at 13,600 and we're holding on now what is holding the markets high facebook look at it very resilient trading above its 30 day and eight day moving average okay and that is something that is not showing any sort of weakness on the downside now the other major pairs are excuse me the other major stocks not as strong okay microsoft selling off and bouncing just here if we look at apple also didn't get that big of a jump and didn't get that much of a resiliency at 171 instead of being at 176. Uh, neither did uh, Google, excuse me, Google also trading at 121. So really, you're looking at Facebook to be the leader right now, okay? And if that carries through, maybe that can continue carrying the markets higher. Now, lastly, looking at Bitcoin, trading at 26,230 and really testing that supporters level. We're looking at a daily chart, and this is where it becomes kind of interesting. Will it break that 26,000? Going into the summer, summer times we are trading a little bit lighter on Bitcoin. It does sell off generally. So keep that in mind as we go into today's trading session. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.